I'm gonna play a video game. How's that sound? Are we all right with that? How do we feel about video games, folks? Man, we got a couch today. And my roommate set up her Switch to play on the TV and she's hanging out on the couch. And I'm like, finally, our, our living room has something in it instead of being uh, empty like it's been for the past month. It's transforming into a true video gaming household living room. It's very exciting. Yeah. I know this may come as a shock, but I do on occasion enjoy me a good video game. Yeah, the timer reset is turned off. So we should be able to actually have the passage of time. So that means that there will eventually be suggestion box letters. Um, and Richmond will show up and adventures will continue. So these are important things that, uh, that the passage of time is necessary for. I guess I could have turned it off at any point last stream. Hi, Richmond, what's up? Who are you investigating, Richmond? Oh, I need to, while he's doing this, I'm gonna post on Discord, speaking of, we were just talking about Discord, let me do this. Who are you researching, friend? Oh, Gengen, Gengen is young. Ridley is probably not the uh, not the age that he should be, because if there's one thing that I know about this game and its ages, like they don't make any sense. This could be adulthood for Kobold, maybe, maybe. Who shall we investigate next, folks? We got all of George's. I just love the escalation. We want to research Sierra. Okay, we can research Sierra. She was on the list. Okay, or you could, we could do more Gengen. Okay, Chrono and Noel Girl, you're gonna have to decide amongst yourselves which of those we'll, we're gonna do. Sorry. I am going to do that cover of the Banner Village song that I was talking about, by the way. I've decided. I just, I have a problem where I have a lot of projects and then I get really excited about a new project and then I work on that. And so I have all these like mostly finished projects or things that were too ambitious and I stop. So if I can like get all the way through a project, then it's great. Um, but uh, I just, I'm trying to like manage, trying to manage my commitments and creative stuff. George Prime, his last name. It's not that he's the first George of any George. Or whatever Prime means. Is that this actually, like, the, the alternate version? I'm trying to remember. God, it's been so long since I've done math. No, I think it's George. I think it's pronounced George. He appears in a game with voice acting. I think his name is George, but I could be wrong. It could be George. Jorg. <laughs> Sounds like jorts. Anyway. So we are playing Suikoden 2. We are very close to the end, folks. I hope it's not a spoiler to say that, but we do have 100 out of 100 native stars. Destiny. Oh my god. I'm glad to know that the, uh, the George's conversation is taking over <laughs> the chat. All right, so if you'll recall last time we had some army battles because we were like, hey, we've actually got enough dudes to go beat up the the Highlanders and take their heads or whatever, except we didn't actually take their heads, much to Victor's dismay. Um, no, because we, we defeated Necklord. Can we do it blue glass? That's a good question. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we defeated Necklord, and then we then we had enough friends to go beat up Highlands, so then we had 
some army battle choices. We decided to do the one with the most story and we actually managed to do it, much to our surprise collectively, I think. Um, you have six characters in your party in regular combat. There's also army battles and one-on-one -on -one duels, um, but those are specific story-related things instead of random encounters. Um, so currently I have a full helping of people. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna gear them up. Cause Yoshino is lower level than everyone. And I think, I think we could use some serious sharpening. Yes, what, we, what, what, rune, what rune were we going to give Lo Wen? So I'm gonna stick on her. Strength, st status screen. What's I gonna put on her? She's got a water rune. What else was I gonna do? No, I think she's good. We've got a bunch of water runes. We're gonna go sharpen. The army battles are very poorly made. Oh. I forgot how to activate my other cheat codes so we don't get to go vroom vroom on the map, unfortunately. We're gonna let the target lady go. We have a lot of healers, that's true, but healing is good. Okay, maybe if I have enough healers in the party, maybe I'll heal. Don't be ridiculous, Lauren. Actually, wait, I shouldn't be going here. I should be going to uh, Tinto, shouldn't I? money. Not me. Watch it all go away. Yeah, I have like three or four healers though, which is why 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 everyone is objecting. Alright. Alright. I think that's probably enough. Alright. So we're sharpened? Lo Wen fights with a shooting star. It's probably a morning star, actually. That would be cool. Just imagine, like, this, like, fairly strong, vulgar woman swinging a morning star around and smashing things. I don't actually know if that's what she fights with. Oh, she totally does fight with a spinny star thingy. Oh my god, that's amazing. All right, way to go, Lo Wen. Lo Wen was a character that we concluded earlier that you were going to like her, Chrono. We came to, the, to that conclusion. Somebody mentioned something where we were like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What was I gonna do then? Do I need to get, should I get another rune? Folks who are better strategic brains than me. Yeah, that would be okay, a meteor hammer. That is that is absolutely what what she is using. So well identified, Chrono. Do I want to put something that isn't a water rune on Lo Wen? No, she's actually got decent magic. I think. Not like good, but not like she's She's got the same number of spell slots as Nanami. Like Yoshino is is like nine levels behind. So so lightning is good against individuals, and uh, fire is good against groups. And I don't remember what I need coming up. I could could I take Sierra's? Enough, that'd be hilarious. She does not, so it would be a, it would be taking taking off what she has, I think. Yeah. And Rio has so many. Blue glass, do you think uh do you think that we should keep her as a water room? I don't remember what happens here. We we've hit the point in the game where like when a thing appears, I'm like, oh it's this! Most of the time. But not all of it. I'm actually really disappointed in myself with how little I remember a lot of things in this game. 
Shall we go for it? Shall we go ahead and go do our thing? Oh, Vicky has little yellow shoes. Hi, Golden Dragon, what's up? Also Silent Night, I didn't say hello to you earlier. What's up, folks? I am playing Suikoden 2. I think we're gonna go to Green Hell. We're infiltrating Green Hell with a small and select group because this is a JRPG and so you need to have an excuse for your party to go in and do things rather than just marching in there with your army because everybody is, it's way more fun to go sneaking in there and fighting things with your JRPG party. No, it's it's a PlayStation game. Um, Atari games are, are a good 10, 15 years older and look much simpler. Um, so yeah, this game came out in I think 1998, did we decide? And it's a fairly late game in the PlayStation's um, lifespan. The third game in the series when it came out, came out for the PS2. 99? Okay. I totally did a cover of this song. All right. So we're not supposed to just go charging in through the front door. I'm trying to remember what we are supposed to do. Oh, fortunately, Teresa's got this, this covered. All right, so we're gonna go in here. I think we're sneaking into Green Hill because the Highland Empire is uh, otherwise distracted. All right, let's try not to die to Doremi Elves. That would be pretty, uh, pretty embarrassing. This game is from, as we were saying, I think it's it's from 98 or 99, so. most recent game in the series came out in, I think, what, 2004, 2005? If that? I think that sounds close. I might be completely mistaken, though. Yeah, so it's not old enough to be, like... I should probably pay more attention to what I was having people do here. Yeah. Well, one of them's going down. Goodbye, Jeremy Elf. Cease to exist. Sarah unmade you. God, these things do actually do some serious damage. This is really bad. Yep. Yep. Wow, that's cool looking. 2006? Okay, so it is more recent than I thought it was by a couple of years, but still. Yeah, so it's so it's it's old enough to be like what when we might call an old school game, but when people are like retro um they're usually thinking of like they're frequently thinking of other games from from older eras yes low one i told you you would like her all right we're gonna beat up this guy there he goes goodbye Sierra, for anyone who's just now watching, that, that girl right there in the upper right corner is a vampire, so that's why she just whooshes up. Jeez, these things do a lot of damage. Yeah, so retro, usually when people are talking about retro, they'll be talking about the NES era and earlier. So 16-bit and later has other terms. People are more likely to refer to those by their generations. But so this is definitely a lot newer than the first Pokemon games, I think. Oh, well, I don't know actually. I didn't really get into Pokemon. But there are definitely Pokemon games that are around the same age, but none that were on this system. Because this is a this is not a handheld. This is for the original PlayStation 1. Let's see. What was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna heal Sierra. I have so many, that's so much. 
Okay. Okay, so not that much different, actually, Commodore. Thank you for... Ha thank you all for having the trivia that I do not have. Alright, let's fight some dudes. You ready to fight some dudes? These dudes will be easier, probably, than the Jeremy Elves, at least. What if we just punch them in the face really hard? What if I just unmake this guy over here? I'll just unmake their commander. How does that sound? Yes, yeah, so the, the combos are why I'm scared of during the elves. And I did what I, what I did, I, I did wrong. I, uh, thanks, Chrono. I should have focused more on taking out as many of them as possible. I forgot how much health they had, though. But yes, everything here is doing more damage than I wanted. He just simply ceased to exist. I could have, I suppose. Shh, Artlem is very satisfying to go after that dude. Uh, okay. You hit that dude. You hit that dude. You also hit that dude? Um, you're going to use... Oh, okay. I need to put a healing item on you. Actually, you don't know. She's going to take from bag. Take some medicine and on me. That's okay, Golden Dragon. I just... I don't have all of the answers to your questions. But it does turn out that other people here do. So... All right, Ulan's gonna punch them to death with the combo. Good job, Ulan. <laughs> yeah, well, Noel Girl, I think that that is... We could get into a longer conversation about the nature of true runes and the relationships that their bearers have with them, but we don't have a lot of that information yet. So, yeah. Let me heal. Uh, yes, also video gameness is, is a factor. No, that's true. Okay, we're going to use some more mega medicine on Yoshino. And go from here. Yes, no, definitely part of it is that. Um, but also... Um, in the story-related section that he's in. Um, all right, hold on. I've got to actually think through this because Grand Hollies can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. Or? I could do, nah, it's fine. We'll wait until there's a time that I more want that. Um, this is, this is how I do this. This is the problem with spell slots. What? Oh, she's got a water ring. That's right. But so the story scene with McDoll, he is, um, he has a very, very good reason to be fighting again. And he doesn't want to fight, but it's very important to, God, these things have a lot of power. Uh... They really want to blow up Ulan for some reason. Well, there goes one of them. Maybe, maybe. That's possible. He might be jealous. Okay. Well, oof. So you see the the target, as you can probably tell, does mean in fact that the enemies are all going to be going after her. The ones who listen to the target girl. Target girl puts a target on their head. Right, let's just go after these. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Bam, bam. Yes, okay. No, why are you going after her? Stop shooting Ulan in the face, thank you. They are not listening to my request. How dare? How dare? Is it not dead yet? Okay, well, it's dead now. 
They're very rude. Shame on them. All right, Ulan, punch that guy in the middle. Uh, you two go after the one on the bottom. I'm going to have everybody else go after this. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, so this is a JRPG, and so the Pokemon games have things in common with JRPGs, gameplay-wise, um, in some some ways. Oh no, Ulan is low on health. Um, so I can see kind of how it being a pixelated RPG might remind you of what is technically also um, a pixelated RPG. But um, this is more like the older Final Fantasies. Um, so if you're familiar with the Final Fantasy series, this is more like the, the oldest of that series. Yes, the Hollies, this is why I was taking the Hollies very seriously. <laughs> Actually, I think it would be IEs. I don't know. Look at that, Lowen is already up to level because the leveling system in this game is very thoughtful. Oh, oh, excuse me, it was Yo Yoshino. I see Yoshino does have more spell slots than Nanami or Loen because she's a bit more of a caster. You're probably right, Blue Glass. I should probably use one of my many heals that I have. All right, Loen. Kindness drops. Ulan. Ulan is good. All right. Um... These guys are hard. All right. You guys take out the same one. And yes, this is gonna be time for Sierra. It's going to ring the final bell for those. So I just am going to sing along with everything. Oh, shoot. They took that guy out. Oh, that's a shame, actually. I wanted her to do the other row, but that's okay. You notice how they're just gone? They're just gone. That's it. They're gone. Their souls are no more. It's a little bit unsettling, isn't it? But the darkness rune is the child rune of the... Um, Soul Eater, and Soul Eater is definitely, if not the one you most don't want, it is among the runes you most don't want in your life. Okay, everybody, just smack it. So, Golden Dragon, have you been to my streams before and it wasn't a game, it wasn't this game? Or did you just kind of wander over here? I'm, I'm curious because most of the people who join us here are people like on Tuesdays are people who like this series already. So I'm curious. Oh man, Noel girl. What conclusion did you two come to? Winged boots. Do I want to equip my winged boots on somebody? Oh, well, welcome. Okay. I wonder sometimes how that sort of thing happens. Winged boots. Does anybody need them? Oh, Sierra. Okay. Oh, I should probably give her a healing item. Yes, the true runes are very unsettling. Oh, huh. All right. Well, welcome, Golden Dragon. Um, I also stream Final Fantasy XIV on Wednesdays, and I've been doing Hades on Thursdays. Um, after I finish this game, which is just a few weeks away, that I'm going to switch to Metroid Fusion in anticipation of Metroid Dread coming out. Did we forget to clear out our inventory? I think I got some of the junk out of our inventory. We still have crab cakes. Oh, we have more crab cakes! Man, I love that there's just crab cakes everywhere. I mean, to be fair, crab cakes are delicious. I am a fan of crab cakes. Sophie. Hold on. She wants out. But before she goes out, Sophie, come here. Look at this very good girl. Look at this good girl. Oh my gosh. So I, I grew up, as you can probably tell, on the older Final Fantasies. Um, but I've been playing Final Fantasy 14. I'm 
I'm not halfway through Stormblood yet, but uh, but yeah, I like to talk about the story in games. This is a game that I've played before, so I talk about it a little differently. But in that case, that's a game I haven't played before. So uh, that's true. I've played 10 and 7 Remake on stream. Sophie. But yeah, all of my streams are, sorry, I say it like, they're all about story. And then I'm like just sitting here petting Sophie. She's a good cat. All right, all right, all right. I know, I know you want that one. There you go, baby girl. You can go on. You can go on. I'm sorry, baby. She's a very good kitty. I like her. Um, she's probably going to go hang out on the couch with my roommate and play video games. That sounds like fun. Um, yeah, um, it's Final Fantasy XIV is my first MMO. Um, and probably my only MMO, but I like, I like story and it's a very story driven game. Um, this series that we're, I'm playing right here is an extremely story driven game series. Um, And then you're gonna, we're just gonna see if we can just go after them. Just beat up all the bad guys. Sophie, yeah, Sophie is a talented cat. She can play video games. She does like to watch things on the screen. If they're moving. God, they've got so much help. They've got so much help. No, why, no, don't go after the vampire. Are you, did I not quit? them with good clothes. Is that why my characters are taking so much damage? I might have done a bad, a bad job. No, stop! If they've got so much health. Sorry, folks. I hate to let you down, but I'm having some trouble here. Alright. Just smack, smack, smack. It'll eventually die. There we go. Uh, nicely done. She does a lot of knockdowns. That's really good. It's true, this is late game. Oops. Uh, unite attack on target girl. Everybody else, go after the grand Molly. Oh, Nanami! That's okay, it was still enough. I don't know Summoner's War. Alright. Because she's a girl and she puts a target on your head that tells the bad guys who to attack. Nanami was having a good time there, snacking. Who needs healing? Sierra needs healing. I will heal her. Don't worry. I will heal Sierra. Look at that. Didn't even give her uh, tomato juice. See, she's a vampire, so it's funny. Okay, let's let's put that on someone. Dream robe. Impervious to attacks. Who do I want to put the impervious to attacks on? Sierra, because she's in the front row. That seems sensible, actually. I love Nanami. Ah, uh, okay. We can we can trade that in. We can trade that in. Wow, Yoshino. Yoshino is not wearing good equipment. That's why she was taking some damage. Nobody here can equip this one except for him, and he's better than that. Ah, uh, magic robe. Jeez. Wow. Some of these are some... I need to get better gear for my party, apparently. That's okay. We'll manage. Yes, Nanami is definitely a favorite character of, like, just about everyone. So hey, Blank State! Yeah, it's a... Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna go... Save the day. We can just make it through these guys first. Okay, you two go ahead and take out the target girl, because I know you can do that. I suppose we could bell the Hollies. We've only got one more bell, that's the thing. But 
But I know these two can take care of her. And then... The, I think that the bad guys do more damage when they're hitting where they're targeting. So... This should make the hollies a bit less of a pain. But taking out one of the hollies will substantially improve our situation here. She's so cool. I really like Lola. We definitely have the cool ladies party right here. And Rio, but he's he's allowed. He is allowed. Girl squad, yes, but not yes. I love that they look like they're wearing spectacles. Green Hill's music is the best. I think I need to read. I have my collection of that. I think that's one of the few covers I have up that's actually on Spotify. I want to do more of my covers and put them on Spotify, but um, I want to redo some of them because they're very old and horribly mixed. So I will be doing that. That's like a project that I've kind of sort of been working on is trying to figure that out. Like I want to put up the Dragon Knight's Fortress. Oh yeah. You know what you do with these? You always put your stat up on your main character. It's the way to go. I learned that playing Shining Force. Always put cheerful bread on your hero. Okay, we'll just beat up a Holly boy. Take out the target girl. Yes, that's true, Null girl. I was thinking of the one or two exceptions that I know of, but uh, there aren't very many of them. All right. Oh my god, a tangent brewing in me. That is, in fact, the Lauren experience. I do go on tangents a lot. Oh man. No, well, good luck with that golden dragon. I, I, I think I'm gonna be taking this week off on Wednesdays because there's a there's a boycott. And or I guess it's not real it's not even really a boycott. It's a something. Um, but uh but I might maybe I'll take tomorrow off and do some other things and then pick up the Final Fantasy 14 again next Wednesday. Wednesdays are the days that I usually do that, so Maybe I'll do that. Should I do that? <laughs> you mean the, the music that I've made? Blank Slate? Blank State. Excuse me, I keep calling you Blank Slate. I imagine you probably get that a lot. Sorry. Um, sometimes the tongue auto-corrects things, even if you read them correctly, technically. Yes, I've got a lot of music on my YouTube channel, but you have to dig through the streams because I don't do nearly as much um I don't do nearly as much music as I used to. So I actually started as a video game music you YouTuber. I use that term very loosely because I didn't really have much of a following. But I had a small presence. Um and I did a lot of video game covers as you can probably tell from my name. I play flute. I also sing, which I'm sure you, you will hear if you haven't already. <laughs> If you watch me play a game with good music for like five seconds, I'll start singing along. I do blue glass. It's just it's not um, it's not updated um, because <sighs> so I'm really bad at keeping up with things like that. Um, and I think part of it is um, I mean, obviously, ADHD is part of things. Uh. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I, I need to go through and actually take good care of my YouTube channel. I haven't put up... Okay, sorry, YouTube, if you're watching this and you're like, why did it take Lauren so long to put up three weeks' worth of streams? I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's, uh... Thing. I'm not, uh... Hold on, I'm 
we're just gonna try to take these guys out. So I'm trying to like have a conversation and not die in this game at the same time. Yeah, jeez, she's good. Yeah, I should probably heal the one, but I'm just like, well, I'll just wait until we finish this encounter. But I should probably heal the one. Although I could take them out. I could definitely take them out this time, I think. Maybe I could, maybe I couldn't. Maybe you might attack. Let's see if we can do this. I'm sorry, there's no reason why I'm doing this, but I'm doing this. Bam, bam. But yeah, so I started off as a video game musician on YouTube. On YouTube. And before that, um, I, I, I joined a video game cover band, um, which is when I started doing YouTube stuff, was after I'd been established with my band. And I was like, oh, I know all these people now who have YouTube channels. I should make a YouTube channel and put up covers. Um, and, uh, and so I did that for several years. Um, mostly RPG music because A, it's like the best music and B, I, uh, I really like older RPGs, as you can tell from the fact that I'm playing this one. Um, but then like I did some music from the Mother Games, which is Earthbound series, and people were really nice about that. And I was like, you know, I should actually play this game, like give it a serious, honest, genuine trance chance. Words, I'm having some trouble with words today. Um, and so I decided I was gonna try streaming because I had some friends who were streamers. Um, so I decided I would try streaming Earthbound. Um, and I told folks who watched me on YouTube, I was like, hey, um, I will be trying to stream this game. Um, and I did, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I do. And yes, yeah, so several years later, <laughs> I'm still playing um, games on stream. And I've done a lot of different kinds of streams over the years. Um, I've done music streams, I've done cooking streams, I've done art streams, I've done like just sit around and chat about things that are making us sad or, or that make us feel better streams. I haven't done one of those in a while. Let's take out this guy maybe? Alright, everybody else take out that guy. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be doing a streamed concert, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. It hasn't been announced yet, um, but it may be related to the music that I was referencing on Twitter and earlier um, this stream. Um, so, thanks, Golden Dragon. Yeah, well, so it's, uh, we were talking about this before stream started, um, where somebody was like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that since you're Undertale stream, was like kind of big back in the day that like yeah you, know, you didn't like take off and like there's reasons why in addition to luck which is just a thing um but yeah i i enjoy doing what i do and i'm sorry to those of you who tune me in all tune into me all the time and are like why does lauren like keep being like oh it's a little stronger but like i don't know you you start doing something having been told your whole life that you need to like aspire to be the best like you, you need to be the very best like no one ever was um, in order to be like worthwhile, you have to accomplish and achieve and, 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 and not just be acceptable, but be remarkable and not just have fun with something, but like, like excel at it. Um, and really struggling with that for most of my life, because that's how I was raised. Um, and then eventually being like, actually, you know what? Maybe I should do things differently. It's a relatively recent thing. Should I even waste my time on these guys? Like, I think that the commander is like the target girl, but I think that he can make the people around him more effective. Um, yes, yeah, so the question is which one though, Chrono? Strategically speaking, what is the correct choice here, folks? I think he does the go attack move, so I think that he's... Okay. We're into the commander. All right. Goodbye, commander. I don't think Cole Shepard in Mass Effect. It's been a while since I've played a Mass Effect. Um, but, you know, so being famous is somewhat overrated. I know people who are more... Uh, somewhat famous like one of my former bandmates is a really big twitch streamer and he's actually doing all right but other friends i've had who've gone professional or semi-professional a lot of them have struggled emotionally with it um and so like 
there's this this feeling, this like need to need to accomplish more um, that that I kind of internalized. Um, but but that's not necessarily even actually what I want. Like what I want is to make things that are important to me, that I enjoy making, that express what I want to express, and that then connect with other people. And streaming is, in a way, like a, a thing that I create. Like it, it, it is a form of creative expression for me. That's how I think about it, anyway. Um, and like that's a thing that I can do. So, so by all accounts, by my own definition, I'm doing just fine. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's one of those things. Like, this is a conversation that I've been having with people recently. <laughs> Blank state, I like that, that's funny. Um, but like, for example, like, so I have this massive Final Fantasy VI fanfic that I'm working on. Um, and, uh, and I'm turning it into a pod fic. I've been like working with um, friends who are voice actors or aspiring voice actors to like cast them into the dialogue. Um, and uh, like, it's, I'm putting so much time and effort into it. And there are people who, who I know who are like, why are you wasting your time on this? And I'm like, that's a good question, was my initial reaction. But my actual reaction is, that's a bad question. <laughs> because if it makes me happy, is it wasting my time? If I'm never gonna be like a big famous streamer who can make a living, is it, a, is it wasting my time to do what we're doing right here, right now? These are actually semi-rhetorical questions because no, like, I'm enjoying this. Like, I do this because I like it. I do this because it's fun. I get to connect with people and I get to feel like what I do makes a difference. Um, so so it's not wasting time, but people, people look at things that are done for fun um, and are like, kind of, that's not, that's not good enough. It being something that makes you happy isn't good enough. I don't know which way of these will take me to. Treasure chests versus there. Oh, what? Hold on. Am I going in a loop? Uh, I bet I am. That would be so sad. Yes, life is what's happening when you're living is a very good way of putting it, Noel girl. Oh, no, not these guys. Okay, hold on. All right, let's see if we can take out one of them. Right, Commodore? See if we can run. Oh, we did. Okay, excellent. Good. Oh man! Oh man, Lucia is back. Huh. Anyway, long story short, life isn't about hitting a particular number in your bank account or on your followers list or whatever that kind of external validation feels good obviously with the caveat that like you need enough money to live off of and the money can't buy happiness thing doesn't apply when you don't have the money to cover all of your basic needs um but uh um onyx zircon if you don't enjoy the way i stream right now you're not going to enjoy this stream and this is not the stream for you <laughs> I will just straight up say, if you don't want to hear somebody talking about things as they play, this is unfortunately not the place where you're going to be happy. <laughs> because that's literally what I do. Um, usually I'll be talking about story and stuff, but I will talk about other things. And especially in the case of Suikoden, which is a niche game that I'm playing with in my community. Um, many of whom love the games and are just hanging out with me to have fun. Um... We'll talk about other things while we're killing time and fighting monsters. But yeah, no, I think it's really important to say thank you, Golden Dragon. Um, I think it's really important to fight the pressure to try to achieve in order to consider what you're doing worthwhile. Um, you can lurk here if you want to. <laughs> but if this isn't the stream that you want, I would recommend that you... Uh, I would recommend that you uh, that you move on because there's a lot of streamers out there who deliver different kinds of experiences, and this is mine. <laughs> That's why I have the lore run icon. 
it's a uh, because usually I talk about the story in the game and other stuff. And in the case of Final Fantasy VII Remake, for example, I will talk your ear off of your ear off about like current events and the evils of corporate America and things like that. Um, because in that case, it was directly relevant to the game too. Um, but no, I very strongly believe that we need to reinforce as much as possible that you're allowed to just do things because you enjoy them. And that's enough of a reason. So, yeah. I guess I should probably heal up. I think I'm in okay shape, but I know that you will all be sad with me, sad at me if I go into, if I go into a boss fight with like missing 200 health here, 150 health there. <coughs> Let's see, what have I got? I think I can use some kindness drop that. Blam. Okay, that'll do. Oh, should I heal Ulan too? <sighs> That's true, Blue Glass. That totally happened. <laughs> Look, it's not my fault. It was Hades. And have you heard the guitars in that game? Oh, and then we can talk about the time that we were um, that we were playing Night in the Woods, and one of the writers dropped by on stream, and we talked for an hour and a half, just hanging out in the library, asking him questions about the making of the games and stuff. So, yeah, this is how we, this is how we roll. <laughs> and I know it's not for everyone, believe me, I know that, but um, but it's for me. And again, as I said, this is this is I'm doing this for fun. <laughs> it's not my job. It's my fun. So I talk a lot. Hades music is incredible. And I'm gonna... Do I need to kill Nanami? Nanami! <laughs> Golden dragon. Are you being sassy? I think you might be. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be... Um, if anybody didn't follow me on Twitch... Or not, on Twitter. Um, I'm gonna be doing a cover of Good Riddance. <laughs> that I, a friend sent me a placeholder uh, guitar track that I was recording with placeholder vocals. And I was like, I should do an EP of Supergiant Games stuff. Um... I was gonna actually send you, Krona, I was gonna send you the, like, scratch track version of it to be like, but I'm not gonna keep it a secret. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here, and we're gonna move the story on a little bit. So if you'll remember, Lucia here, um, is the character who tried to assassinate our hero earlier. Um, yes. She snuck into his room to try to kill him, and she was like, if I kill you, the war will end. And, and things will be better for- and, and, and things will be better for my people. She's talked about getting land for the Karayans. So, um... So Lucia is a little angry right now. <laughs> you woman, you are Teresa, I will kill you now! Teresa's not thrilled about this. So we've heard a little bit about the Karayans here. Um, is Bob... So I swear somebody in somebody in this game who joins you is Karayan. I'm trying to remember who it was. Bob is a grasslander of some sort, but I don't remember if he's a Karayan. God, the music is so good. So here's the Karayans. Alright, angry dragon. Yes, they are very cool looking. As you can probably tell by the fact that I know something about the Karayans, like, they do factor into the Suikoden series, so, um, let's see, I feel like I should hold on to this until I can do it to Lucia, or Lucia, I think I always called her Lucia, um, yeah, no, the, I love the music. This is not my favorite song in the game, but, um, I'll wait on that. Uh, am I gonna have a chance to heal after this? Should I just black shadow all of them? There's so there's things they so they pepper the Suikoden series. Um, 
They pepper the Suikoden series with references to other places and other people. Just across the board, all of the games are full of these little details, which makes the world feel very, very real, which is important because of the way the stories are told. Um, and it also means that they have lots of things they can pull on in later games. Um, so something that may be like small in one of these games may then be significant in a later game. Um, the throwaway location that gets mentioned may then later be expanded or even the central location. Um, yes, it was the other one I was humming to, Golden Dragon. Um, let's do this. Alright, Yoshino. Yoshino. Let's just use the shredding on them. This is a Okay, anybody who hasn't seen this game before, the Shredding is the name of a spell, and it's my favorite spell name in this game, I think. There are some really good spell names out there. Okay, uh, low end, just like hit somebody. I'm glad everybody appreciates the Shredding. It's just, it's such a good name. Oh my god, Grandia is, is a wacky thing. Oh, I forgot she's a fire rune. Oh man. Okay, so next time protect mist is what I'm hearing. Gulan is like, you think you can hit me? I'm gonna punch you in the face. <sighs> There's something kind of nostalgic about that sound because of how relatively young I was when I played the first game. Oh man. Please don't die. Okay, nobody died. And like, so you've noticed the the degree of animation when low here's the shredding, by the way. See, he's like getting shredded by wind. Um. All right. Then we can do this. Okay, so Ulan is going to use her angry dragon rune. Yes. Okay, we're gonna use the bright shield rune. And we're gonna we're gonna berserk so that Ulan can do infinite of her thing. I don't know that Lucia is gonna last or Lucia is gonna last that long. Okay, what other, what, is, what other spells do I have? Uh, okay, we'll do that. She can't sudden sudden death. So, okay, what what rune do we have here? Sorry. Storm warning is a really cool name for a spell. What other runes do we have? Protect mist. Yeah. Okay. So, so they very lovingly animated all of these sprites in massive detail. So Lowen spinning her weapon. I don't think any other character in the game uses at all the same weapon. No one character I really wanted to preserve, not preserve. Um, but uh, like. So no, runes are not just, they do have the elemental spell. So when I'm, when she casts fire, when I cast wind with the shredding, but the, the spell that was just cast there was not an elemental spell. So in the context of the Suikoden universe, the true runes, the 27 true runes are kind of almost deity-esque, almost godlike sort of. It gets a bit more expanded as the series goes on. Um, but then they have kind of spawned these other runes that are all like children of them um, that are that are much more like ordinary. And uh, those runes are uh, what our characters are mostly using here. Just go ahead and punch it. Yoshino, punch it with your spear. Her. Okay, and then you, what, what, what do I have with you? Oh, yeah, you're just gonna hit it with your weapon. But yes, yeah, so in the first game, the main character gets one of the 27 true runes and it kind of ruins his life. It's called the Soul Eater, and it eats the souls of the people who are closest to you, actually. Um, Suikoden, the series, is about the uh, human cost of war. So they're games that have a lot of... God, that spell is just so not right. It's so not right. Ah. Uh.
Hold on, what just happened? Did somebody, did somebody get a tip? I'm sorry, uh, Flittybot didn't say what it was, so if somebody could let me know. <laughs> sorry about that, I, I have it. Oh, we got a blue gate rune or pale gate rune or whatever there. Those are useful. So. Yes, because um, I was able to wipe out her dudes pretty quickly and then focus all of my magic on her. She was a pretty quick fight. Oh, 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 Hazel. Well, if you're watching Hazel, thank you. Yeah, so I don't ever, I don't get Patreon support that often, like at new, new, new patrons. So I don't, I forgot to turn off the zombie is like the auto thing when uh, you get an alert with the Streamlabs alert, but uh, that hasn't really happened much. So I forgot that I didn't turn that alert off. So thank you. Um, yes, I have a, I have a Patreon, um, but I don't really keep up with it because I get ADHD. It makes it very hard for me to keep up with things like that. Um, um, anyway, um, game. So this game about the human cost of war. So we have people on opposing sides of war. There's a lot of loss and sorrow and good people trying to do what they think is the right thing with terrible consequences and so on. Um, it's a very good series. I love it a lot. Um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, Noel Girl, and remind me, then I'll, 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 I'll do that before I shut down for the night. So here, Lucia is clearly, like, she's got some motivation. We don't really know her. All we know is that she tried to assassinate our main character. Um, and has talked about, like, you know, needing to get land for the Karayans or their ancestral lands back. Um, and then here she's like, oh, you're Teresa, I'm gonna take you out. And Teresa, who is a very, um, kind of like mild-mannered peacekeeping type person. I... So I feel like things in anime tend to be a little more over the top and colorful. And obviously anime runs like a huge range of stuff. So that's not necessarily fair to say. Um, but I feel like the Suikoden series in a lot of ways is actually more like a, a fantasy novel. A pol like, you know, a politicking fantasy novel. Um, I love it very much. So here's Teresa trying to find common ground and understand what's going on. And Lucia is so angry. And we have no idea why she's so angry. We know something's going on, but we don't have the details of why. And Teresa certainly doesn't either. So here is... God, I love the music in this game so much. So Lucia like has no patience for this. This is something very, very big and prominent in her life. So, do you remember, uh, some of the, uh, so the, 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 the older generation, the previous generation of leaders in uh, Joust and the Joust and city states have maybe left some things to be desired. If you'll recall what happened uh, with uh, Rio's adopted grandfather, Genkaku, and his friend. <sighs> yes. They had some, some trouble with, with spelling. <laughs> Keeping spelling consistent. It's not the strong point of the people who were trying their hardest to translate the billion words in this game in probably very significant time constraints. I like that the profiles don't just stick to uh, the boxes. They'll stick outside some. Um, but yeah, so uh, Gordo, we know him. He sucks a lot. He's the guy at Matilda who did not care if the refugees were getting slaughtered because they're not in our territory. Just let it happen. And it is generally a garbage human. Um, and Teresa seems very sweet and her people love her very much. But it sounds like her dad kind of sucked. Um, and if you think back to what um, Annabelle's dad did 
to um, who was her predecessor in Muse to Genkaku. Um, <laughs> thank you for subscribing, King Luke of Light. <laughs> Please don't murder us all. I'd rather you not engage in 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 in, in war crime violence. Thanks. <laughs> Luca Blade is a pretty scary dude. Um, but yeah, so like, it's interesting because the... It feels like Jousten, the Jousten city-states where we are, like, they're the good guys. The Highland, like, the Highlanders are being led, like, like Luca Blade is just running amok, destroying all sorts of stuff, and just being awful, and being allowed to do so. Um... Like, people like Raud are able to, like, rise up in the ranks of the army. Um, you know, so you're like, oh, that's not good. They're murdering their own child soldiers. Like, everything there is bad. Um, and then you come here and you're like, okay, um, you know, Annabelle seems great. Teresa's a little quick to give up in some ways, but not bad. Um, but you kind of the more you get to know of, of especially the history of the area, you're like, oh, oh. And so the fact that they're like, I think it's clear now with where we are now and who we have now in the game story. Um, relatively speaking, I think it's safe to say that Jousten has good guys, is being led by good people by and large good people who are trying to take good care of their people um and that's thing makes it easier to uh be like yes we're on the right side um but like like lucia here being like your people have done terrible things for generations and then your father killed my dad at a peace council um <laughs> yeah, well, and so you have, like, Luca Blight, who hates the this, this states, hates, hates, um, Jousten, for reasons, if you'll remember, the, um, was that Annabelle's dad who sent the, um, the, the, the pretend bandits to, uh, after, after Luca's mother? Um, they were from Muse. Yeah. So it's like... You have people on the other side who have very valid reasons to be angry, um, and yet the people who are on this side now are not necessarily, in, in most cases, are not the people who did that. But that anger is still there. The suffering that made them angry is still there. Like with the Karayans, there are still problems. Even if Teresa is a much kinder leader, that doesn't erase she isn't even aware of what her father was doing so she she hasn't made it better um and so like even if we are trying our best to do the right thing and do good things and take care of our people and not do great harm in the world because there are forces outside of our control and things that have happened before we could do anything um like, there are complications that we can't help. Bye, Golden Dragon. Have a good day, and we'll see you later. Yeah, and, and the city-state tried to invade um, Scarlet Moon, Torin, um, during... I mean, they've done that a few times, but, like, yeah, they, they were taking advantage of the, um, the turmoil uh, with the, I guess, Civil War. Um... In, in Scarlet Moon slash Torin. Um, so, so there's no saints here. Like, there are individuals who are unquestionably good. But, like, okay, so for example, for example, can you picture Jess doing a war crime if he thinks it's, it's worth it in the end? Like, can we imagine Jess doing that? Yes, we can. He doesn't. But he absolutely could and would, and he wouldn't think he was doing the wrong thing. He's, I think, probably cut from a similar cloth of some of the... No, he, he did Nolgo, but I wouldn't quite, I wouldn't quite call it... 
I wouldn't put it in this category. I would put it in a different category that's still bad. Um, but can you imagine just doing things in line with what Teresa's father did and what Annabelle's father did or what Gordo has done? Um, I absolutely can. Um, yes, and Hauser would follow any order he's given, um, which is slightly different. Um, like I would, I would, I would say Hauser would be complicit, but I could see Jess making the decision to do those things and perpetuating the, the frankly evil actions that the Jousten city states have taken. Um, and like. He's on our side. <laughs> yeah, and Gustav is absolutely not a saint. Um, like, the whole situation with Tinto is very sad. And that goes back several generations. Like, the, 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 the like, short-sightedness of strip mining to such a degree that you are utterly dependent on external sources for your food to eat anything. You cannot grow food in your entire region because you've strip mined it. That's generations of people making short-sighted decisions. And the fact that Gustav then, in that situation, still tries to cut himself off from his neighbors. I'm like, you're literally dependent on your neighbors so that you don't starve to death. Yeah, and then Jess has bad decision-making skills. No, that's true. And like, Jess, I think, comes across as like... <sighs> Jess is so frustrating. Because he's not malicious or like hateful for its own sake, the way a lot of people are. Um... But, uh, like, yeah, like, I don't even know if Jess is evil, <laughs> but I don't know what he is. He's just, he's just a person with, he's a person who doesn't recognize his own, not limitations. <laughs> Jess is patriotic, that's true, but he's just, he's absolutely blind to any possibility that he could be mistaken in something. Um, and that's so dangerous. That's so dangerous. Um, so he's a really interesting character to have in the game and be on our side. And it makes sense to have him on our side. But like, for example, like when, uh, when Shu is like, you know, sure, I'll take Fitcher. That's great. I could absolutely use Fitcher. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, like, Fitcher's a super useful guy. And I'm really glad that Shu is able to see <laughs> Fitcher's usefulness, which is considerable. Um, like, Jess isn't like, yeah, we got Jess on our side. It's like, we'd rather take him off the board because he's not causing damage anywhere else and we could use his soldiers. <laughs> but we're not like, yes, we've got Jess. Thank you for following the fuzzy. <laughs> I like your name. Um... But yeah, so like, I, uh, oh my god, yes, and then there's Leon Silverberg. And the fact that what Leon did, he had, he had a good reason for it. And it is possible that in choosing to burn Kaleka to the ground, he, re he, he saved more lives than he took. And so from a certain perspective, his decision was, you know, valid, was worth it. Do the ends justify the means? Um, and yet, like, you know, that's the, the Kaleka incident is like, it's a thing in the series. It's, it's the turning point for a number of, the breaking point for a number of characters who are just like, I cannot in good conscience have anything to do with something that, that allows this. Um, but like, you know, what lines are we willing to cross? What lines are characters willing to cross? Um, and in the case of Joey, there's a lot more lines that he has proven himself willing to cross. 
I mean, like Humphrey, Matthew, there were others. Um, but the fact that that's what made Matthew say, like, I, I can't have anything to do with war. I, I have to leave war. Um, it's... I don't know. Because, like, also, how far are you willing to go for certain things? Like, how... F what lines are you willing to cross for your values? And what lines would you be willing to cross to save the people you love? And we can think we know those answers, but until we've been in that position, we can't know. Like, you cannot know for sure what you would be willing to do to save the people you love. Um, it's an interesting thought ex experiment, though, you know? And those are the questions that Suikoden asks. And that's why I love these games so much. Because, um... Because I think it's really important to ask those questions and to have people do terrible things and to, to, to blame them for the things they do, but to understand and sympathize with why they did them and sometimes to say, well, what else could they have done? Final Fantasy XIV is kind of dealing with that right now, which I very much like. Stormblood is clearly like Final Fantasy VI inspired, but with like a soul that's similar in flavor to Suikoden, so I like it. <laughs> huh, yeah. Like, what are you willing to do to save yourself? What are you willing to do to save others that you love? Um, how many, like, like, like taking the trolley problem, but having it be people that you love be involved? I don't know. Um, anyway, so returning to the game now that I've gone on my tangent. Um, thank you all for being here <laughs> through my tangents. Um. God, it's been a while since I've thought about exactly what Zexan does. That may be correct. It's hard with that game, though, because, like, you have to play the different sides. So, you fight for them, but also, yeah. So, returning to Lucia telling us about very recent Karayan history that is somehow not considered Green Hill history because Teresa doesn't know about this. So Lucia and Teresa are in similar positions here. They are the daughters of the former leaders. This is the first Teresa's heard of it. And she is, Teresa is a good person. She was willing to turn herself over to die uh, to save her people. So, yeah. Yes, Blue Glass. Yes, no, the characterization of Joey, he may be a very controversial figure among the fandom, but I think he may be arguably the best developed and created character in this series. But Teresa's like, I need to look into this. She's gonna, she's gonna make reparations. The real world could learn a few things about the value of reparations. And just Teresa is so like level-headed about this. Like we have a generation, mostly, of very good leaders. Um, and even like in the case of Matilda, for example, Gerudo is not Gordo. Gerudo is um, is a. Uh, absolutely appalling but he's from that older generation if you look at who's like kind of like next in power shaping the the next rising generation matilda you've got camus and mikletov so yeah the past rulers of the city state this is not what lucia expected <laughs> lucia's how old here she's a teenager I don't remember how how young she is, but she's pretty young. Um, is she taller than Teresa? No, I think she's a teenager. I think she's like 15 or 16.
Teresa is like, this is a big and heavy thing that I need to reconcile with uh, in my head. Um, but we also have to go and do this. So I, I think the way she handles that is very good. Not Teresa, no, um, Lu Lucia in this game. How old is Lucia here? Hello, Holly Fairy. The Holly Fairy looks like a design I would have come up with for a Christmas card. <laughs> oh, I forgot to heal my party. You can run. Okay, we ran. I should heal my party. <laughs> I'm gonna heal my party. <laughs> dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum. No big deal. Uh, Yoshino. Blam, 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 blam. All out. <sighs> okay, look. Oh, I did forget. Okay, well, let's see. What, what kind of junk? I know I've got some junk here. What junk do I have? I feel like the guard robe is junk. Yes, we can get rid of the guard robe. Um, yeah, so it's it's Final Fantasy 1 slash Dungeons and Dragons style. You have spell slots. And then you assign which runes you want. And each rune has specific spells that go in that particular spell slot. Oh. Okay, well, I'm not enough of a geek to know that. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, Sleeper, that is correct in that case. Oh, so Lucia is in her 20s in this game. Okay, I always thought that she was much younger than that. Critlo, thank you for following. <laughs> yeah, I guess you were a no go. For some reason, I thought that she was, I thought she was younger in this game because she seems so young to me. But that is true, Blue Glass. Twenty-two is still young enough to make an impulsive. But because this is a JRPG, twenty-two is like an ancient grown-up for a lot of games. Yeah, no, you're. F that's that's fair, an old girl. Yoshino is really good. Lola actually seems pretty good. But we don't need to use kindness drops, oh man. I'm sorry, but the Pale Gate rune has the, uh, the silliest... The silliest animations. No, kindness drops and kindness rain, um, those are healing spells. Which is the healing room. Oh man. Like I want I want to share Suicoden 3 with those of you who don't know Suicoden 3. But uh, I, I just I feel like I need to take a break from games I've played before. Because I think I'm I I honestly think I kind of burned myself out on streaming a little bit when I was trying to stream five times a week. <sighs> Suicoden 3 is many things. I don't know if I would call it fun. <laughs> I think it might have the worst combat system in the entire series. Oh God, I just, I love the like gentle, um, gentle shading. It's so good. Hold on. Have I yet looked at what's in the, hold on. We gotta go look and see what's in here. They didn't tell me what's in here. Then I'm not gonna be able to comment on the bedside table here either. All right. Do you guys want to see empty world? Shall we do empty world? Right? There's no reason not to, right? Sure. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Say goodbye to the bad guys. Doesn't matter what anyone else does. Maybe I'll heal the party. <laughs> 
So if you remember, Windy, who has one half of the true gate room situation, uses her gate room to summon monsters that don't fully exist from nowhere. So it makes sense that the gate runes, child runes, also summon monsters. Are we gonna use the bright shield rune? Yeah, it's a pretty powerful spell. Oh man. All right, we're gonna use the bright shield rune, which this is also a, uh, a true rune. And just just to be clear, because I know there's folks here who have who are familiar with the whole series. Um, people who are watching, some people here do not know the series, and they don't know how this game goes, and they don't know how three goes. So, um, just a reminder to be quiet about that stuff. Bye, Luca Blight. Thanks for dropping by. It's not a, not a not a thing that people usually think they're going to say. <laughs> Swigun and three has ducks, but one of the ducks is a good duck. The other ducks are kind of what you would expect. But one of the duck is really great. It's the right way to go. Oh, that's the way to go meet up with Joey, I think, over there. I think we went there to meet up with Joey. Remember that? Remember when Joey made like one last ditch effort to convince us? double beat runes in the Nami or something like that? It's just hitting a lot. Sorry, like, there's nobody... Like, you can try to blow my face up all you want, but I made it through Majora's Mask in which I blew my own face up repeatedly. I can handle it. <laughs> Imprisoned Town is the name of this song, and it is a good one. Hi, Green Hill. How are you doing, Green Hill? There are some songs that are not my favorites. is awfully empty here. Yes, we had a wacky school drama because why not? That was a very anime moment. We're not chasing a ghost this time, no. Oh, I didn't know that you could do that, Blue Glass, because I wouldn't have known you could do that because I forgot that my shield existed until the final, final stage of the final boss in that game. Is there anything we can do now that there's nobody here? I don't remember. Perhaps we are chasing a ghost. Oh no, the blacksmith's hard here. It's okay, we got sharpened. <laughs> There's some stuff on the wall. It's probably no good. Practice magical implements. Okay, this looks like you move the chair or something like that and like a secret entrance happens. Oh man. I don't know that you want to try sharpening weapons without a blacksmith present. All right. Man, good times. Remember when Flick was our, uh, our, uh, not bodyguard. I guess he was our bodyguard. He was our, he, he, he was, he was our like, responsible grown-up. So they've closed a lot of the buildings. Oh, hello. What's up? Oh, save! Yes. I, I bet the girl will heal me. Chaperone. That's what I was looking for, Chrono. Thank you. God, I love this song. There we go. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna save properly. Yes. Look, time is passing. 
And boy is it passing, because I'm talking. Sorry, folks. I just talked to that girl, and she said, oh, you need to be healed, and then she healed me. This is a cover that I do. If you make it to the concert um, next Saturday, I might um, I might put this one in my set list. Yes, I'm gonna be playing a virtual concert. Oh. It hasn't been fully announced, but I'm gonna be playing a virtual concert on, a, on not this Saturday, but the following Saturday at 3 p.m. my time. So. No, 6 p.m. Excuse me, 6 p.m. my time, 3 p.m. the time of the people who are hosting it because they are on the West Coast. I will let you know more details when it's officially confirmed, but I figured I would let you all know. It's one of the uh, one of the virtual concert um, series that I've been part of before. Wait, what am I doing? No, go ahead and unite against one of these guys. Go against, yeah. But yeah, that's why I was like, this is a good excuse to learn good riddance. Did you just want to see me cast Empty World again, Chrono? Is that what this is all about? I love the way the background scenery down there changes with the camera angle. Like, they could have just had it be relatively static, but they didn't. And it makes it seem so much more real and detailed. And maybe for people who aren't, um, who, who aren't used to pixelated graphics from this era, it's not impressive, but it, I think it's really well done. And I'm just dying to see what they do with more modern things. So, Sleeper, um, in this game, you can just let people, like, you, you get the option to let go if you are higher, like, if you are stronger than, than the enemy. I don't know how they calculate it. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's a level thing. I think it's, like, a damage thing. I don't know. But then you can just choose to let go, and then the monsters are gone. So it's nice. Oh, sorry, Commodore. Yeah, not the Green Day song. Although I love that, actually. That was the song that convinced me to give Green Day a chance because I didn't like them when they were punkier. Ah, yes, the Earthbound Auto wins. I remember that. Punch a dude. Punch a dude. Punch a dude. Also punch a dude. So much dude punching. Dudes won't know what hit them. My fists. That's what hit them. I, I love that she doesn't walk over there. She just floats because she's a vampire. She's a million times cooler than Necklord. Thanks, Colonel. I admit I was kind of secretly hoping someone would quote that one. <laughs> I was actually thinking about making a super giant EP where I pick a song from Hades, a song from Transistor, and a song from Bastion. Um, and then I was like, Lauren, you need to not bite off another major project. Like, when you're already like, I'm gonna do a ton of songs from Final Fantasy VI and also make a pod to accompany the fan fiction. Um. But it could happen. It could happen. Oh no! The music got very serious. <sighs> Yuger has to make an entrance. He's very extra, but he's also pretty with long blonde hair, so he was very popular for a time bearer of a true rune and a cursed child. He does kind of have the ominous Sephiroth way of speaking. <laughs> this is not a very easy time to pick up the game story, by the way. If you're watching, this is my, the first stream you've watched me play so we could into. Um, we're close to the end of a, of a fairly elaborate game. 
Yeah, we're gonna see what happens, Blank State. Real of hatred, master of nightmares. My servant, I call you forth from your dark realm to wreak havoc and destroy this boy. As I said, Uber is a little extra. He's a he's a bit of bit of a, a bit of a, a drama llama. What is he summon again? I don't remember what this is. But that's totally. Well, fortunately for us. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna hold off on this for now. Yeah, we're gonna just scream at it a whole bunch. No, that's true, we are. Did we fight a drama zombie dragon? We did, well, no, there was a, there was a skeletal dragon that you get the, the castle from in Sweet One. All right. Doing this instead of the shredding, I think it's the right decision. I don't know what this does, so when in doubt, protect mist. You never like, darn, it sucks so much that I protect misted. Yes, Torin Castle, that's it. This guy sounds like some particular. One of the creatures from Tetris Attack. And it just makes that sound like all the time. Oh, haha. That did less damage because it, it's a it's an evil undead spell against an evil undead monster. Don't eat me. Get punched! We got punched. You're gonna attack. You're gonna. Uh... I should do this at some point, but it's gonna kill him for now. But then I could heal him. And the heal might get through first. Next turn, empty world, no girl. Okay. All right. Hold on. So the thing is, you have to juggle. Like, I don't want to lose Battle Oath, so I can't use that. I can't use Pale Palace here. King's Road. It's an all enemies, which is not usually a good choice. Hold on. Shining Light, which actually, this will be super effective against it, actually, because that this is a holy... Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna Shining Light. We'll throw that. And you have. Oh, darn, she's. I thought I gave her makeup medicine. That's okay. She's gonna defend. You're going to. Oh! The shredding. No. Because uh, I was gonna have. Yeah, you can do that. And then Lo Wen has a water rune, so she can heal for you. <laughs> nice little girl. <laughs> Tetris attack isn't even properly Tetris. It's a, uh, what is it, Panel de Pong? Okay, maybe that wasn't as effective as I thought it was going to be, but still. The sound design is really good a lot of the time, not always in this game. Theories. Because there are the dragons that sound like elephants. That's pretty effective. I think you could just keep doing that, Sierra. That's fine. Ooh. The shredding. That was really good. 
That was also really good. She got health back for that. Oh, now Sierra's dying. Uh, cause I, what I want to do is I want to cast the big make me go berserk heal with Rio, which maybe will make Bulan berserk and then she'll do more damage. Cause what I want to do with him is empty world it, but I don't want to kill Sierra. I want to empty world and then and then heal myself the next turn. But I suppose we can hit, we can king's road it. God, it won't stop. Oh, that's true. She can just do this. Yeah, just do that. Just do that. You're good. Kindness rain? Yeah, but I want to do the big berserk one with him when I when I do when I do this. What room do you have? Wind. Oh, I'm out of the shredding. I thought I had more shreddings. You got a water rune, so you're just gonna hit it. I don't think it'll nap is the thing. Ding! Ding! Well, I guess, I guess actually, yeah. It's just, it's so silly looking. Oh, what? Okay, well, whatever that element was, it's the same element as this jerk, I guess. God, that one is so uncomfortable. Oh, I forgot that she healed. Well, whatever. It's fine. I made some questionable decisions here, but, uh... So, yeah, summon monster element. Maybe so, actually. All right. So, what we're going to do here is you're going to attack. You're going to go ahead and take the chance at, um... Uh... Berserking the party. That's kind of why that one's so good. You're going to. I think that this still does more damage than her regular attack. What are you getting on me? Attack? Sure. You're going to. We concluded that you can do Storm Warning. Go for it. And then you're going to attack. Okay. Like, it's really cool and it feels like growth and protection and stuff, but it's also scary. You're going to uh, angry dragon it. Uh, if I can heal Sierra in time, I want I want an empty world because the rest of my party is full. I think I can. Can I do this? Can I heal Sierra first? I don't know. She's he's really fast. Well, worst case scenario, I'll just bring her back with somebody else. <laughs> Alright. So, Nami? You're not berserk, so everybody else can just hit it with sticks. We're strategizing together, folks. Just in time. 
This one is intense. I like the mouths shouldn't open like that, you know? And like just like the sound, just like everything about it is like this is not supposed to happen. Oh what? She's not doing any damage to it. It is immune to her because she's undead. But it's undead. Well that sucks. I don't even remember what she's casting. What is she casting? What is this? What did she just do? Well, it worked, so good job. Oh, lightning. Oh, I guess, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's storm elemental. Well, good job, team. We did it. Oh, that was the reflected magic, Noel girl. Thank you. I did not make that connection, if that was what that was. We exterminated that one. Suddenly there's all these people here and you were like, no, hold on, that's not how that was supposed to happen. In my head, that was way cooler. I think that they were inside and locked their doors, Chrono. I don't think Green Hill, because Green Hill wasn't fully evacuated, if you'll remember, and all of those doors that we went to, they were all locked. I think that people had locked themselves inside because there was fighting outside. Or the, the bone dragon wasn't there yet, but... My power is again inadequate. Rio, bearer of a true rune. <coughs> this is not a bad point. It is in fact difficult to extinguish the flames of war, but yes, he is a drama queen. Oh, you are. And then he, like, he has to make a perfect exit. Whatever. Who cares about that guy? There's some people who do. Ooh. Shin said you finally come back to us, but that doesn't make sense because Shin was with her, so I think that might have been mistranslation. Yes, you were as a theater kid. <laughs> Yay, everybody's really excited that Teresa's here because they've had kind of a, a crummy leader and uh, now they've got a good one and they're happy about that. Green Hill's back to normal. Yay, she did it. Hi, Fitcher. I love him. He's always so frazzled. All right, key by convoy. And they walk me right here. They're like, there's no point in sending you back. All right. So what do you think is going on? <laughs> so Gerudo sucks. Have we, have we yet discussed the fact that Gerudo sucks? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yep. No, we have not fully explored just how much Gerudo sucks. <laughs> well, he's big and he's bad, so he could be a big bad. Hmm, look, strategy. I do really like, I mean, I assume that they must take inspiration with the strategy in this game from particular strategies in real world situations or else they just made stuff up and make it plausible. Because I'm like, oh, I would believe that having the generals be a decoy so that they can go take over. Like, yes, it's almost like they, well, it's not just the Silverberg though. Joey has already proven himself to be quite capable as a strategist. But yes, in this case, it's Leon. <laughs> I think I think this was his idea. It might be Joey's as well. Who knows with those two? Mikhiltov does not approve of this. He wants to march in there and save the day. And she was like, well... Anyway, forgetting about Matilda... Let's go. Go free muse. 
Not that there's any people, but, but it's a symbolic victory to take our capital city back. Yes, Blue Glass, that is correct. We will absolutely be doing recruiting. Is this choosing to go ahead or not go ahead? Like, is this like a save game? Is this a save game versus going ahead? Can anybody confirm it tonight? I don't remember at all. <laughs> like, should I say let's think about it so we can go recruit? Or is the other, like, because I feel like they would give you a break, you know? Like, that seems like a thing. I can look this up. But the first one, okay. Cool. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go save. We have a recipe to turn in. We have something else to turn in, too. I don't remember what it is. What do we have to turn in? Yes, we're gonna, of course we're gonna check the suggestion box. What do you think I am? A person who doesn't check the suggestion box? Oh no, how could they? That's okay, we're gonna talk to Richmond. Let me find out more about Gengen. I should put the Insta Richmond thing so we can get more stuff. Goose Goose, okay. Oh, is that why I have to have the um, brooch? <laughs> so I don't know if I've, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but um, we have we have strong evidence after the Aiden uh, Kickstarter and uh, of, of one of the the streams that they did <laughs> that Mariama, the man behind Suikoden, is a furry. So this is an important question. <laughs> You have to know how you can tell when your animal people are happy. Hey, angry nerd bird, what's up? All right, shall we continue to get really good information on Gengen? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we're committed to finding out Gengen's secret. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Richmond should just say he's a good boy. Yes, yes, he is. Hello. Yes. All right, so we can do some recruiting. We've also got, I think, one more cooking, a couple more cooking. We want to finish the cooking story. Yeah, I mean, that could happen, Blue Gloss. How's this? When we get to the end, if we want to, of the game, I can go through and read all of the Richmond things for everybody, if you want. So we can get that information. Oh no, Angry Nerd Bird. Yeah, yelling into the void of Twitter about things like anxiety is a... Uh... I've done that. Shall we go cook? Is that a thing we should do? Should we go cook? Let's go cook. Or do you want to recruit and then cook? Yes, cooking is very serious business, blank state. We have the stew. So is it that we don't want to go in there while we have a recipe on in our inventory? What is the deal with that? I want to say there was a thing. Do I have? I feel like I have. A bunch of junk. I've got a window. I've got a bunch of runes and stuff. More than one recipe. Okay, well, we've got one recipe and it's Grumios. So, are we good? Can I go in there and potentially do another? I mean, I guess I guess we'll find out. I think we're good. 
Okay, blue glass. Oh man, look at this! All of my important people. And I guess some random losers. <laughs> Sorry, Freed. Retzo himself is back. So, yeah, no, Victor would not miss this drama. Hypnosis! How could you use such a trick? <laughs> Victor's like, what? <laughs> Look at all of his exclamation points and question marks. Victor is using more than his daily allotment of, of uh, punctuation marks. Apple can't miss this algorithm. <laughs> Slick is like, I know this. That's true, Commodore. That is pretty funny. Thank you, Luke. Do they just randomly pull characters for this? Because that would be pretty great if there was supposed to be a line there, but it's Luke, so he said something. Oh yeah, no, this is absolutely a cooking anime. They crossed Iron Chef with like a cooking anime, and I think that that's one of the best decisions they could have made. Why? Why do you have to use a dirty trick like that? Also like his ninja mask. The dragon plan. Oh no! Hayo does not approve of whatever this is. Hayo's mustache and his one long hair. He's just gonna great. I've seen Hayo cosplayers over the years. They're great. Dream that people would learn the true beauty of cooking. Nothing could make a chef happier. It's very serious stuff here, folks. It's a, it's a war of ideals. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. Who do we wind up with? Let's find out. Oh, man. This is a bunch of random folks starting with Luke. Cool. Light applause. <laughs> a good face and a bad personality. <laughs> Luke does not approve of this. You try not being such a grumpy brat. <laughs> I don't know. Is I a vegetarian? I don't know what Ohitashi is. What is Ohitashi? Also just like this bad boy's favorite dish. Like it's just, I don't know. The phrasing of that is really funny. God, he's so dramatic and shiny. Stewed greens. Okay, Chrono. Thank you for that. All right. So what should we cook? I mean, like, island salad is always a good choice. Oh. Spinach cake, no thanks. Spinach juice, no thanks. Spinach saute. Spinach salad. We could make a spinach salad as the appetizer. But I just kind of want to make the things that are good <laughs> that go over well. 
Island salad usually does pretty well. What do we, what is a good, what's a good main? Cause we don't have this, I, I imagine the stew is pretty good cause it's optional. We did save, we saved, yes, we saved. What do we want to do? Hmm? I just, I don't know that anybody else is going to like it. And and him liking it isn't going to make a difference. Ramen or stew? Okay. Sp oh, we do have a special stew! Sweet syrup? What? Adult stew. <laughs> Clear soup. Mellow stew. And spicy stew. Yeah, Luke won't like anything. We can just make the special stew. And then we can make cake. When in doubt, cake. Shortcake is good. That tends to do well. Cheesecake also does well. Yes, the special stew is Grumio's stew. That is correct. I would eat this. All right, let's do it, folks. I would eat this meal. Look at me chopping things. I'm chopping things so fast. Chopping things, all the things, everything's getting chopped. Chop, 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 chop. Now I'm stirring the thing. Look, he's just over there just like spinning his stuff, being silly and extra. Meanwhile, Hayo is being slightly anxious. Oh my god, I love his creepy ninja mask. He just like ominously stands there and stir fries with his creepy ninja mask. Oh, you see him? He's like putting, putting. So, oh my god, that's amazing. All right. Sunomono. I don't know what that is, but it looks like it's some sort of a salad or something. It did not go over very well. Sorry, Retsu. I don't think they have carrot cake. Island salad never lets you down. I think Luke gave something a two last time and I was like shocked. Sashimi combo. Oh, that's probably gonna do pretty well. Yeah, oof. That's not good. That's pretty good. I think we're actually holding our own here. Thank you, Gremio. Thank you, Gremio. That's not dessert. No amount of showy, he gives himself cape wind by spinning his cleavers. It's not dessert, dude. That's not dessert. This. It's dessert. Yeah. Okay. That 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 worked it. That 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 clinched it. We're good. Oh, there's cheesecake in the fridge. My roommate picked up a Japanese cheesecake for us. Maybe I'll have some of that after stream. Yay! We did it. Oh, look at how he's. Oh, Sean, Professor Sean, thank you for subscribing. I love how dramatically he's fallen to the ground. He has the one hand down with his little, like, ninja glove. Like, it's so dramatic. Like, the fact that they, they put all of these extra sprites, it's a lot of work to do the story, the level of detail that they do with their sprites, but they put it all in there because they're, like, they're nuts in the best way. I'm so excited for AODM. Because Hayo cooks with the heart. He remember he was he was reminded to cook by, from the heart by uh, Lester and Antonio. Shunin was right to believe in you. It's the moon bird recipe. This is shooting combo. Oh no! Oh no! Look at how cool looking he is. Look at how cool looking, he's enormous. He's enormous and has like long silver hair. 
And like Luna has gigantic biceps and his like strong arms. Like he just they were like, we need to make this guy scary. I can make all of the chefs of the world happy with it. Don't want to hear any more of your lies. Enough talk. How about you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, look, there's an unfortunate comma. Hi. Yo. <laughs> yes. The ultimate cook-off. I was like, I can do it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, we gotta go save, folks. Let's go save. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the ultimate cooking showdown? If I ran off or scared off the person who wanted things to happen a little faster, but we were just settling into a. Oh my god, Clive! He's got to go lurk in the shadows of the lake theater room. Uh, he's just he's also very extra let's do this I'm glad blank state all right we're gonna do it are you ready finish him hi yo Hayo is not at all hesitant. He's like, yes, this is my final boss and I've been training for this my whole life. I'll show you the true power. Amazing. Okay, let's see what judges we've got. Oh man. Okay, Lorelai, Wakaba, Anita, and Shu. Oh, Shu is like, like the fact that Shu is here is like exciting. <laughs> Just like imagine dragging Shu out here for the cooking contest. Yes, Clive is usually a rooftop buddy who, in the, on the burning roof, um, but apparently he also likes to lurk in the back of the theater. <laughs> All right, I guess he is very dramatic. Uh... A lovely lady wanderer, what is it that awaits you when you reach your destination? She's not gonna go out with you, dude. <laughs> The bright young strategist of Unicorn Army. Yeah, because he's not super old. We just. Our main characters are teenagers, so. Oh, look at that animation! Oh, they went all out with that. Grand Wazoo of the Black Dragon Group. Uh. Jinkai of Genbu. He is intense. They definitely get across his intensity. Well done. But he's not as tall as he looked because he's wearing those sandals that add to your height. Hayo. Hayo is not afraid. I love that the like little like sting that it plays when he comes out gets cut off short. Like it's just it's extra funny. It makes it feel more like television. All right, so I want to just make the exact same thing that I made last time because it tends to be pretty good. How do we feel about that? Do we want to be more creative? Because like, oh, the sashimi combo is also probably special. All right. Like the difference is like, do we want to have? Cheesecake again, or do we want to have shortcake? Either one of them is a good option. Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't pick island salad. Oh, I didn't, did I? Salad. I thought it was mayonnaise. What is the. What's island. What? 
Oh, is it soy sauce? It's soy sauce. Okay, sorry. Thank you. That was an important distinction. We almost, we almost were completely awful. Oh, Ampy, yes. Reveal secrets about our latest things. Queen of the Sea. Oh, that sounds special. Sea treasure. Wow. Ship combo. Oh, these are, okay, these are the different. Spicy sashimi. That's pretty boring sounding compared to Queen of the Sea, which sounds pretty fantastic. Doesn't it? I admit I am tempted to use it because of the level of drama. <laughs> oh, man. But the special stew is usually a good choice, apparently, because it's special. All right. We're gonna get, we're gonna get secrets from Ampy. Ampy is, I assume, typing them up, so I will wait patiently. I will try to wait. So those alternates can be appetizers or desserts, don't make explosion, yeah. Oh, man. Should we make something that is an island salad for our appetizer? Because, like, this sweet syrup sounds like it could be a dessert, which is a weird thing. Adults, too. Clear soup sounds like an appetizer. What do we want to do? Salad combo? Okay, is that an appetizer? Okay, so, but what should we do for our main course then? also make the sweet syrup for dessert if we wanted to. Adult stew. Clear soup. Mellow stew. Spicy stew. What do we want to do here? Just the regular special stew? I'm totally fine with that. I love Grammy. What dessert, what dessert do we want to make? Do we want to make a cake? Do we want to make something else? Cause like we can make ice cream stuff. What is this sweet bean bun? Oh my god! There's a. I now live like a ten minute walk from Chinatown. So let's make this syrup because we haven't seen the syrup before. Yeah, well, I would, I would put, because a red bean bun is considered an appetizer or a dessert in this. Just out of curiosity. Sorry, I'm grooving to this ridiculous music. Shall we do it? Be overpowered. Too powerful. We are too powerful, folks. All right, let's do it. Let the cook off begin. I don't actually usually look at their animations for this. Why did he do that? That was concerning. I'm not the only one who was concerned about the sudden pillar of light. Is that a tomato? Did he just give them a tomato? He just gave them a tomato. That's his appetizer. It's, it's a tomato. I mean, it's tomato season right now, so like, I, I am tempted to get a good tomato and make some bagels and then have, because all you can get is Montreal style bagels up here. And I am descended from New York Jews, and that will not do. New York style bagel all the way. It's really good to have a really good bagel and a really good tomato. A little bit of salt, a little bit of mayo, that's all you need. No one was was super thrilled with this, but Wakaba thought it was fine. It's food. She likes food. 
Wow, that is a lot of sushi. Oh my goodness, everybody loves it. Well, that's good. I mean, I need just like, it's fine, but. That is not just one dish. That is an entire set of dishes. Kaiseki, Kaiseki dinner. What is Kaiseki dinner? Like, is that like, are they all in curry sauce? What does this mean? I feel like I want to eat it, but then I think it might have fish and I don't want to eat fish, but it looks like it might be tasty. Can somebody explain to me what this dish is so that I can be hungry for it? Traditional multi-course Japanese dinner, okay. So it is multiple courses. You cheater. You cheater. It doesn't look like sushi though. Yes, I suppose it is the final boss of main courses. All right, well, I can look that up later. It did pretty well, but can it defeat the heart in Gremio stew? Which is, no, it can't. Thank you, Gremio. The love, the love. give zeros before. See, Wakaba's standards are pretty low when it comes to food. She's like, ah, uh, food. I don't know what the sweet syrup actually is, but I'm intrigued by it. It looks like some sort of a pudding thing. Did pretty well. Cake might have done better, but... Spinacopita is really good, but I don't even think that's what this was. I think this was like literally a cake made out of spinach because it looked like it had icing in the middle. It was red. It's not good. Oh, look at his it. Look at his face. He's like, no, how could I? Amazing. Parfaits are good. Bye bye Yes. Well, he's really dramatic. He's got a stump. They they animated that stump. They were going to get their money's worth out of it. Ha! Sorry, Jinkai. He did it with the support of all of his friends around him. The power of friendship as any true sports anime or cooking anime will teach you. It's the, it's the power of friendship. What about the wisdom? I think I'm funny. <laughs> you fool! the drama and the music like it's just amazing see this ties back to what I was going off on earlier in the stream when I was talking about things it, it can be enough for a thing to be fun and to make you happy you don't have to have the best recipe ever and defeat everyone else. Are you enjoying cooking? Are you having fun? Are you making people happy with what you cook? That's all you need. We, wa we lost sight of what's important. So Hayo has freed the chefs of the world from the temptation of the moon bird recipe. Oh, 
will walk the true path of the chef. I just love the drama in this. When I said there was a cooking minigame, uh, Null Girl and Chrono, did you have any idea what that in would entail for us? <laughs> oh man. A true chef can never be happy unless the people who eat his food are happy first. That's some wisdom right there. He's got to stand dramatically on a cliff and stare out at the horizon. It's incredible. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're brooding. You need to come do your job. We just don't ask too much about horses and sheep and things. <laughs> so Mariyama himself wrote this. The same writer as the rest. It's amazing. Stage production. Technology. So great. Like, this is very definitely them being like, we love Iron Chef, so we're just gonna lean in. Like, isn't that great? Isn't that great? <laughs> Aren't you so happy we did that? Oh, man. Hi, Hayo. You will make it for me. We made so much money. Let's make a menu. Let's make the menu. Can I make? Oh, there's so many things I can't make. I am lacking shrimp. I'm not going fishing, so. Uh, cake. Short cake. Ice cream. No. French toast. Oh, we don't have a lot of options. Oh, steak sandwich. That sounds good. Let's do that. Gyoza? Steamed gyoza. Oh, barbecue meat bun. Sweet bean bun. Ginger beef bun. Oh, man. Maybe I should go get some buns. Let's see what else we got that I can make. I'm just going to make everything until I can't make things anymore. Got lots of things. Oh, I forgot about this. This is pickled cabbage. Sure. Oh wow! Oh my god. <laughs> Steak sandwich cures unfriendly. Oh man. Pickled cabbage isn't very good, but shortcake is good. And ginger beef gut bun is good. Man, I want some of that. All right. Okay. I'm just supporting the kitchen, that's all. All right, so we have now concluded the cooking mini game. Let us save and then, yes, apparently a steak sandwich will cure hanger. All right, so recruiting. If I remember correctly, this is the last chance we get to recruit. So we're going to go to Couscous, which does that mean that we're going to get, um, do I need to bring, um, what's his butt? Hold on. Oh, 
Hold on, let's go make up our party. Take Victor to Couscous, okay. All right. Don't remember. Even if I just did this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, sure, we're gonna remove you. She's like, you fool! Hi, Victor. Yo! All right. Victor, you should go in the front row. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Victor's just like, this is cool, this is fine, I can do this. Simone is what I was thinking of. There's Chris, Chris. Shazam! Where do I bring Victor again? What are we doing here? Have we done this? Have I tried to do this before? Look at that. That's some food I wanted. Blacksmith. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Did you see how quickly everyone came out of my party? Oh my god. This is just such ridiculous dialogue. <laughs> Star Dragon Sword is like, okay, this guy can live. <laughs> Yes, that other sword. Isn't that um, Barbarossa's sword? <laughs> oh my god, Victor. Amazing. I really wonder what this would have been in in Japanese because it's it's a it's like a really good adaptation of an English idiom. And I wonder if there's like a similar idiom in Japanese, or even if there is an actual idiom in Japanese, and then they were like, oh, we can make something work like that in English. I don't know. I don't blank state because they were responsible for me not getting 108 stars at some point. Incredibly powerful ancient being is like glowing and like I will murder him. He's like whatever. <sighs> I love Victor. He's great. That's true. Guilty as charged. Not just Victor, but also me. <sighs> anyway. Yes. No. No, you may not. What a weirdo. All right, Victor. <laughs> Thump. <laughs> it's just like, what is with these two? Victor is completely lacking any regard or respect. All right, so we're gonna get Simone, and then we're gonna go to Radat. Oh, we have a level four castle. Should we like go out and take a look? Does it do the anim does it do an animation thing the way it does um, when you walk in in one? Okay, well, 
Well, well, well, well, well. So, I have to ask. It's obvious that when I have been playing this game, ever since, like, I was young, or the series, when you go and you take somebody to the, to the blacksmith, I don't talk about sharpening their weapons, I talk about sharpening them. Is that how everyone who is a Suicoden person describes it? Like, you're like, I gotta sharpen Victor. Bah! Alright, Victor. I think he means Monami, not Bonami. Okay, Blue Mary, because that's how I always say it and how I have always said it. And since you said it that way, I was like, does everyone else do that? And apparently the answer is no. Yes, I think that's what they meant, Blank State. <laughs> God, I love this song. All right, so we want to go to the water and he's like all like lurking, right? Oh, right? Yes. Okay, I remembered this one. All right. Buckle up, folks. Do you recognize this character? Do you remember Vincent? <laughs> yes. <sighs> They're so extra. They are just... Look at this level of drama. It's the wrong form of brooch. Now that I think about it, with an A is like broaching a subject, with two O's is like jewelry. <laughs> See, now he's talking about plural friends instead of one friend. I know enough French that Mizumi is like my friends. He should be saying one of me. Is that a thing? I don't I didn't think that was a thing in French to do that. Like, look at these boys. Look at these boys. Look at the care they took in making sure that they animated Vincent's ridiculous little cape thing properly. Like, they have such, like, Alright. <laughs> Thank you, Ulan. Ulan is decidedly not interested in anything that just occurred. Unless she perhaps recognized. Uh, we are none of us straight here. Maybe. Alright, we're gonna go put we're gonna go put some flamboyant boys in our party so that they can go unite against some 
poor whatever monster. Oh, they both left. Amazing. Are they both swords people? Thank you, Yoshino. Oh, you're long range, okay. You're short range, okay. <sighs> They're just so dramatic, you know? Yeah, we can do our best with that blue glass. Yeah, the music, the theme of narcissism is, which is the name of that theme song. So that that class of the category of characters in the Speedrun series, they are called the narcissists. They are recurring, even if it's not the same ones of them. They have a way of being. Oh my god! Look at these boys! Look at these boys! Oh my god! Okay. You're gonna defend, you're gonna unite the narcissists. All right. He's gotta, he's got to, he's got to dramatically look away with his rose. Oh my God, look at them. So many roses. Yes. They're incredible. That was amazing. Okay. We want to see. Yes, that's right. What my soul? It is, in fact, buddy attack, but with roses. <sighs> All right. So you're gonna defend. You're gonna attack. You're gonna defend. You're gonna attack. You're gonna defend. You're gonna defend. <laughs> He throws roses. He throws roses. Yes. All right, so now what? We have recruited some folks. Who do we put in our party now? Oh, look at this. Look at this little old kobold. How cute are you? Adorable. Sharpen a weapon to 15. All right, where is even my sharpener? It's like a pencil sharpener. Oh man, so I've started, I got a new sketchbook so I can draw again. I drew a picture last night for like the first time in ages. The marketplace, oh, of course the shopping street. What am I, oh, hold on. While we're here, it's Richmond. I don't know if I do or not. But his tail is down, that means he's sad. Sorry, I, I pushed through that one. <laughs> this is so good. I'm so glad that we're doing this. <sighs> it's just really silly. Few options to sharpening to that level. Okay, so just tell me what to do. I don't think I have clay. Where would I get clay? How would I have clay? Clay from Wakaba's village. What is Wakaba's village again? Hi, Barbara. Gotta say hi to you for no girl. God, I've got all this junk. We 
we've got a shortcake. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, look, I am bad at inventory management. Okay, so we should go to we should go to Green Hill. I can go to Green Hill. Let's do it. Yes, we're not going to go get the octopi. All right, so we're going to go in and talk to the sculptor. And we're going to go in and, I guess, talk to the sharpeners. Maybe I should try drawing some fan art. That isn't... I don't know. Maybe I'll try drawing some fan art. If I were to draw fan art from Sweetheaven, who or what should I draw? I've been trying to draw... I decided I was going to draw lots of pretty girls in this sketchbook. Is he in here? Hello? Yo, how you doing? Okay, so he needs clay. Okay. I recruited the inn here. Thank you. It's also a good song. Not as good as Imprisoned Town, but it is a good song. Let's see if I remember how to get to the end. I think it's down this way. That's the item shop. Oh, this is the end. Oh my god, blank state. No, that is like top of list that I need to cover. Thank you for reminding me. I have been meaning to cover that song for a very long time. It's an obvious choice. Yes. Oh, man. Yes, this is the inn that Raud wanted to burn down. So here's our, our da dashing, charming young man. Sorry to have caused heartbreak there, but, yep. Yeah, he definitely has that look, doesn't he, Chrono? Or he could be a dashing swashbuckler, but he's a musician <laughs> instead. <laughs> Same thing, really. Um, all right, so I've got that. So now, did you say there was something else to do? One of the two at the bench, two what at the bench? Oh, the blacksmiths? Let's go talk to the blacksmith kids. He does kind of look a little like Gaston. All right, let's go talk to the baby blacksmiths. Baby blacksmiths, da 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 da. <laughs> Let's go do this. La, 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 la. No. All right. So we did it, Green Hill. We did it. Oops. Ah. Sorry, Green Hill. 
Oh, talk to Jude again? I just talked to Jude. Do I talk to him again? Okay, I'll talk to him again. Talk to Jude again. This is our third time going to the Boxsmith place. Okay, well, well. He's adorable, though. His little, like... He looks like some character from something in particular. He's adorable. That's okay, ble blank state. Doesn't hurt to go back, hang out with some blacksmiths some more. Oh my god, I... I'm so bad with D-pads. I need to not use D-pads. I need to use the stick. I keep forgetting to change my controller setup. Oh no, that's fair, that's fair. I appreciate you wanting to keep me from, okay. So is it faster to walk there from here? Or to teleport and then teleport? Yeah, we're just gonna leave those here for the next traveler to run into, thanks. <laughs> oh man. So you see there's like a little old guy behind one of the houses or something like that? Probably not here. Is he up here? Around here? No? Oh, you think you come here for Clive Quest? Which, which we're gonna have to do. Oh, 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 look at that, look at that. Not the most intuitive thing. I'm sure if you ask around, I'm sure someone somewhere says something. I'm actually not sure. All right, so we're gonna go back and give him his clay. <clears throat> and we can do a little more recruiting next week if we need to, but uh, I think I'm gonna want it to be a stream that like focuses on story. Oh, you little angry guys. Is it because my rose boys are not high enough level? Uh, angry birds indeed. Oh. Wait, Blue Mary, do you mean like they don't have an animation so they don't attack you? Or they don't have an animation but they attack you without an animation? Either way, that's pretty hilarious. Man, I'm looking forward to Aoden. I like I worry about getting my hopes up too high. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, well maybe we should have fought them. I don't know if I've seen the anim the graphics for Unreal Engine 5. Like, I don't really know very much about Unreal. Except I know a lot of games are made with it. You can join me. Like, doesn't he just look like a nice guy? He's like, hmm. I think he makes me think of Noel from Star Ocean 2. I'm one of like two people in the world who actually likes Noel. The Rune Master has a present for me. I'll take it. Hello. I'm sorry I'm not talking to civilians all the time here, but. Oh, nice! A Rage Rune. She's basically saying, please set them on fire for me. The Rage Rune is the upgraded um, fire rune. <laughs> so it's. So there's like, like the fire rune, the rage rune, and then the true fire rune, and there's like a set of spells, and it just gets moved there. Yeah, like I don't know if these, I don't know if they've up updated what they say. Tinto, all right. Did I 
re I think I recruited the window person. Ah! Nah. Thank you for reminding me of Beautiful Morning. Like, that is exactly what I needed to be reminded of. Because I want to do the Banner Village theme, but that's another one that I can put together pretty simply for flute. Um, Armory. Hold on. Okay. Okay, well, we may have to have a recruiting stream then. Tinto Armory, thank you. Okay, I got distracted thinking about music, okay? So I don't think I'm at my maintenance dose of ADHD meds yet <laughs> because I'm still not quite where I would hope that I could get to be. So we'll see. Um, later this week, I'm gonna talk about potentially stepping up to the next level and then I will be at the level that kids usually start at. But it's already making a big difference, so. All right, so we're gonna go to Tinto. Shazam! I am, and I feel so much better, honestly. Like this dose, I can notice the difference. I feel much better. All right, Armory, where's the Armory? I think it's up towards the top. God, I love this song. I was looking through my, uh, my, um, arrangement of this song. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. We're getting all of you guys. Alberto likes to drink craft beer and play board games. I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've had an arrangement of Withered Earth for like six or seven years. Seven years that my band was supposed to play and we never did, so... didn't they? And he just like, he's not like, may I come with you? He's just like, oh, that's where they are, so I'm going. So, fans are family. <laughs> like, we're not gonna like, launch a car at a plane for each other necessarily, but, um, a band is like family, so I actually, now that I am in a band, um, which I wasn't when I was a child and played this game for the first time. Um, but now that I'm in a band, I can understand actually why the three of them are like, put everything else on hold, whatever else we're doing, who else we're spending time with. Like, my band is alive. I need to be with them right now. I'm sure I'll check the stage. That'd be nice. I'd be happy. Although it might not play. I don't think I got the music thing. So I think we would have to, uh, I think we'd have to put on, oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Didn't I? Did I? I don't know. I don't know. I'm having trouble. That's a cool detail, Argetlum. I went the wrong way. Oh, this is my favorite headquarters and I cannot find my way around. Yeah, the guys in caves will take some effort. I know how to do it coming from this way, but not come from, from coming the other way. I think it's like immediately to the right. Oh, it's gonna be, what's her name, dancing? Karen dancing. Oh my God, Nina, are you jealous? Are you jealous? <sighs> anyway, no, unfortunately it's not gonna be them singing, but I can play some of their music for you. Are you ready potentially for the last of Gen Gen's? That is true, but she clings to hope. Is it time? Can we conclude Gengen's secrets? Bum, 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 
bum. It is a spot where it looks like a statue should be, isn't it? <sighs> Suffice to say, I've never actually gotten Gengen secrets before, so this is amazing. This is so great. I'm, I'm so glad that they committed to this all the way through. And she's one of the earliest characters you can have. Like, that's just, it's just incredible. It's so good. No, that's 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 the end of the Gengen lore, I believe. We know that his tail is up when he's happy and down when he's sad, and when his ears are straight up, he's found something to eat. How much Kiba is left? Let's find out. I feel like I should get some friends together to make this song. Oh shoot, sorry. I got Lam asked about Kiba. That's okay, we'll get we'll get Sierra. We'll get Sierra, sorry. Fortunately, there should be time. But yeah, it sure looks like something should go there, doesn't it? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Hold on. All right. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Let's dump some of our junk. Oh, that's right, it's a collar, I forgot. You've got the plans. Space, comma, space, huh? All right, so we could build a thing that has various, these various parts, but we don't have a full set of anything. So we're gonna hold off. not make our guardian deity until we can make the right one and I don't know what the right one will be all right so it is after 10 o'clock folks um you get different th different things happen depending on which one you make so if you make a chimera it's a different thing that's true Lunary. wrong way although if we're asking about chimeras in the context of mother three many things are wrong with them that game, man. I like it. Alright. So next time, we have to recruit two dudes in caves. And maybe some other... Yes, next week we will get to 108, and then we'll progress the story. <sighs> I think I know what is... Ha oh, Clive Quest. Oh, can we do Clive Quest next week, too? I think I know what happens next in the story, and I want us to be able to focus on it. Um, once we get there. Um... So if we, like, can... I don't know that I want to drag out an entire stream of, like, doing side questy stuff. But if I have to, I will. Um, they'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate you hanging out with me during my very long chattering. Um, and, uh, and, and being a delightful audience. You've all been very, uh... Okay, excellent, Argetlum. Okay, we'll talk about that. Um, yeah, stream chat, I might have some questions. Um, 
any of us who are talking about so we get into in stream chat um on the discord for those of you who aren't on the discord we have a place where we can talk about these things um just remember to spoiler mark spoiler stuff so that Kurana and null girl and anyone else don't wander into it yeah maybe we'll do the next bit of five quest next week um, yeah, we're gonna we'll work that out. Those of us who have who who have played the game before, we'll figure out what the ideal. We will strategize to give those of you who haven't seen the game before an optimal experience if we can. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. I guess I'm gonna take tomorrow off because I guess that people are striking slash boycotting. Um, I guess I'm gonna do that. I wasn't planning on. I forgot what day it was, but I could actually probably use the day off. So if folks don't mind. Um, go ahead if you want to join us on our discord you're welcome to do so please let me know if you want to join the discord and you find it overwhelming or something and you have suggestions or thoughts please feel free to share them because i want it to be a welcoming and comfortable place it is a very very kind and friendly place but we talk a lot anything that has to do with me there's a lot of talking you can take that for granted um but uh yeah feel free to follow social media too if you want to have updates on whatever is going on Oh yes, blank slate, blank state. I'm sorry. I, I'm this. This is gonna go. It's gonna be like the. the I'm gonna put three Suicoden streams all in a row up. Um, yeah. Uh, and then what was I gonna say? Yes. And and Thursday. Thursday we'll be doing more Hades. Um, so and I'm really really excited with how stuff's going with that game. So yeah. Thank you all so much for joining me. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday, if it's still Tuesday. If for some reason you are in the future, go to sleep, please, friend. Unless I suppose you're so far in the future that it's like awake time for you, in which case, have a good Wednesday. <laughs> All right, folks, take care of yourselves. Bye.